I forgot to record my camera for this game, so let me know how you guys feel about no cam gameplay and whether or not you like it. It's going to be a very hard game to deal with, so I kind of made some adjustments to my runes to reflect that. We're running some conditioning with some unflinching. So the idea is when I'm flinching and Legend Tenacity, we will be immune to Pantheon and Kinnon stuns, basically. And this way, we don't have to get Merc Treads to deal with Kinnon. And we can actually pivot into getting ourselves some uh, plated steel caps, right? Because they are pretty much all AD. So the idea is that we're building a more durable mass G build this game in an effort. I have no idea what lane they leash for. I was, I, was, I was so into my build, I forgot to check what lane they leash for, guys. But I would assume as Wukong, you probably started red, right? Um, I'll, I'll ask and see. The bot slash top leash. Okay, that guy just ran him down. But yeah, our primary focus this game is making sure that we are in control of winning team fights by not getting one shot by Kennen and Pantheon. I actually thought about bringing Exhaust this game, but I decided not to because I forgot. But yeah, I think Exhaust probably would have been a pretty good summoner spell here. When Wukong or Kinnon are running in on you, you just exhaust whoever you don't have the resistances for, which is probably Kinnon, and then you're good. So we're going to be looking at how the waves are bouncing. So this wave's going to eventually bounce into bot lane, which will give me a chance to sneak into that bush in bot lane. So we're just going to continue clearing down there. Mm. Give it a clear. Bro, these wolves, sometimes these wolves are just the biggest pain in the world. Uh, I can't do this. Dudes, dudes, we're not going to talk about that. I was going to Alpha Strike over the blue, and it was at that moment when I realized I couldn't do it. Hmm, I could actually fight that. Oh, I don't know where Panth went, but... Okay. Dude, he Flash Ignited. I mean, that's good for my bot lane. <laughs> I don't know why you ZZ, buddy. I just got your supports full spells. I got your supports full spells, baby. Well, my bot lane chased into the jungle when I was already dead. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, we're going to go for the crab here, and we're actually going to pivot towards top. I don't know. Like, we have... See, here's the problem here, guys. Is like the wave was way more in our favor, and we should have way more bot prio for that. But uh, unfortunately... Are they duo? No, they're not. I'll just check it if they're duo. Unfortunately, even with that prio, we did not manage to pick the fight because this Pantheon is literally just out roaming Nami really hard. Nami's just kind of sitting in lane. I want to kind of put a move for top. And that's kind of what it's like whenever you're playing support. The best way to win support is to roam. Like that Pantheon put me behind. He put mid into a really sticky situation. I'm just going to stay here and wait. Oh. Oh, mid auto, boys. Mid auto, you know, it's kind of a hard gank there. I want to go get my top side. The key is though guys is even if you fall behind like this You just keep calm because if you let it get to you, you're gonna have a bad time At least Pantheon has no flash ignite for bot lane anymore though by judging by how they performed in that bot side there I'm not sure if we actually care. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna perform well But we'll see we'll see so the wave is into the tower which means that it's gonna bounce back to them very soon and by the time I do my full clear there, maybe I can sneak into the bush. I know, I'm having some deja vu here. But, uh, man, it was really unfortunate that Pantheon was there for the Flash Ignite because if he didn't Flash Ignite, right, I could have held off a Meditate. If we could have had a little bit more prio from my bot lane, it would have been a really good call there. But, uh, it just really, it came down to the Ignite because it cuts my healing while also doing true damage through the increased damage resistance. Let's grab this. So it could have been a good play if we had a, if, if bot lane was different. And I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying that we have to keep that in mind whenever something like that happens. I think Kinnon warded. I saw him walk up and ward. Otherwise, I would love to push into this. But I think that, honestly, my bot lane's probably going to reset and back. Looks like they're staying. I think, honestly, we want to make our way towards bot. Ezreal 0 two, 0 He got killed in the early game. And, yeah, so we're probably going to go for, like, the Blade of Rune King. And then straight into, like, Death Stance and Shield Bow. Uh, we're not really interested in getting too much damage here because, as I mentioned, we're just going to get bursted down. Pantheon will jump us. Everybody will unleash everything on me. So it just makes a lot of sense to do that. Now we're getting mid roam downwards. Oh, wow. That bubble was beautiful. Okay. That was a really good bubble. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to sneak into that bush and get a boss side gank. Unless my bot lane resets. We do have the prio for it. As long as this prop lets me die. Okay, I'm coming up. 
Is that way pushing in? Oh no. Man, I'm just slightly late. Oh, Wukong's there. Well, we're gonna have to back off and try to head to the other side. Like this way, this is kind of um, kind of donezo. Oh yeah, Pantheon's coming. Yeah, just uh, Pantheon, just hardcore out Roman here on this Nami. I did. I just he's he's a hundred percent there. <coughs> yeah, so you know it was a good call to ping that Pantheon, even if it's not my lane. We got to keep in and uh, keep in mind this Pantheon likes to roam. He doesn't have boot yet, and he's still he's just roaming like a maniac, guys. Unfortunately, we do lose Dragon, but really, honestly, there's nothing we could do with our lack of bot prio. And yeah, it's technically it's bottom's fault that we're not getting these dragons. But you got to realize that just because it's their fault is something doesn't mean that they can't contribute to something else later, right? So instead of blaming them and being like, eh, like, can we get any dragons because of you bot? We got to think about how can we utilize bot in its current form? And honestly, we're probably just going to make them into meat shields. <laughs> you you got to think positively about that. Man, the Singe is doing work. No flash on Kenneth. So we're going to go ahead and ping that. 1230. Oh. Okay, I could actually probably pivot into the focused mind can pierce. Wukong used his double knock up. I'm gonna go get me. Uh, I'm gonna go get me Rift Herald. I'm getting ready for my bot lane to start blaming. Don't worry, that mute button's ready, boys. It's ready. It's ready. What am I watching? What am I watching? What's that Zed doing? Um, so even though we don't have like full prio on top, I think Tub's doing well enough that Kennen's gonna be a little bit less aggressive. Now they might know I'm here. Zed's dead. Both my lanes are back. If Wukong comes in, I have to fight him alone. But Wukong does not have ulti, and Kennen's oh, Kennen's playing a bit passively because he is losing. So this might work out. We don't have Smite though. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and use E because at this point even if we run into Wukong, it'll be kind of a bad fight We just want to secure this Rift Herald if we can, which we did. Very nice. Rift Herald secured. That's what I like to see It's gonna be a big power spike and we just gotta we gotta keep ourselves calm guys keep ourselves calm And this paint nice. Hey denying them some vision. It's a win for everybody They already knew I was topside because I got Rift Herald so denying him the pink word there does absolutely nothing for him or his team. I just literally get free gold. And I might pad downwards, man. Okay. this They keep pushing into this Wukong. Mm. They need to stop shoving that lane. You know, Nami is... Uh, Nami's relatively not trolly, huh? You know, I actually expected Nami to be a whole lot less mature about this, right? So uh, it's how I'm happy to see that Nami is, uh, you know, not doing the blame game on the jungle and realizing that they should stop pushing. Because he did say stop pushing. And we're taking advantage of our good lane. Honestly, I typically like to gank on bot lane, but... Uh, they will non-stop coming by. Well, then maybe stop pushing. <laughs> stop pushing. You know they're going to push bot, so or they're going to go bot. So, you know, you stop pushing. Man, even with that tower in the plates, I'm still behind in gold here. We're, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. We're rolling up. So, I have a feeling Wukong is probably all over my bot side. Yeah, he's on his bot side. I mean, Sinch has full control here. Vladimir is doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Pantheon's roaming towards top now. Well, Sinch, you got to go hold mid, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll go with you. Oh, that's pink. Oh my god, Ward, please. Yeah, I gotta go get that Blade Ring King. So I might clear Raptors and go back for the Blade Ring King. Because, you know, we have, we're have we sitting on all this gold. And it'll just give us a really big advantage to go ahead and grab that. So this way he's pushing in again. But I mean, at least this time it's a lane swap. So, you know, they're just pushing into a, a feeding cannon. So we got feeders versus feeders. 
Who has the worst feeders? Honestly, having two people feeding in bot lane is a little bit worse than having one feeding in top lane. Uh, we got this, this. I need to grab me a pink. And uh, we'll go for my blue buff and head over to dragon. So we're in decent position for this. Singe doesn't have TP, but Singe is really controlling the game. I appreciate him. Vladimir is controlling it. Hmm. Well, you know, Ezreal's trying. Bless his heart, dude. Bless his heart. Hang on, I want to see his win rate. 29%. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Huh. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it is what it is. So I had somebody ask me if I can 1v1 Kennen. So yes, you can 1v1 Kennen. And the reason, and that's the reason why we ran uh, conditioning. Was to make it so that we can more easily 1v1 people. Especially if we're running like an exhaust or something. But uh... I mean, Ezreal seems absolutely baffled that I would save that cannon there. <laughs> all right. They're all in mid now. This free 30, 30 gold ward, huh? No, 10 gold. The ward skin got me, boys. It's always the fancy words. They're the ones that get me. Well, I don't really have anything going on here. I want to go check the enemy jungle, but uh, because I don't want them to take my red buff, right? But I think we might. that ship might have sailed, guys. That ship might have sailed. We have pink and my blue. Honestly, this isn't the best pink. This is more of a defensive pink. I want to come over here and check for this. We know that Wukong isn't on the left side. Oh, well, we know he's right there. Okay, well, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's always a possibility he went for my red buff. I think he took it a while ago, though. I don't even think that's a recent red buff. Um, Looks like Zed and Pantheon wants some of my raptors. I'm pulling it up, boys. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Leave me alone. He's trying to take it, guys. Oh, he's not. I should have saved my smite then. Well, we got ourselves an interesting situation here. Honestly, let's just let Vlad scale. Easy. Oh, my God. Okay, well. Okay. I mean, honestly, I think we let Vlad scale here. I'm falling behind in gold, right? By doing all these little runarounds, unless we pick up a kill, which is going to be really hard considering how they're grouping. I mean, Ezreal can't be worth much gold, so you know what? Burn your heart out, Ezreal. What? I just watched that on the mini map. I'm like, what? How did he. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Ezreal, you MVP, baby. You MVP, baby. So let's continue with Grumpy Poo here. Just let the Vladimir scale, baby. And uh, so we're going to be working on Death Dance as our next item. And we're going to be going for a teamfight oriented build instead of a split pushy build. Uh, because their enemy team is very teamfight oriented. They're going to be forcing fights. Obviously, guys, we don't want to teamfight them. Right? We don't want to. But we're going to have to. Right? Oh my god, dude. He was worth so much gold. What? He was in... He was in Blast Plant. He was in Blast Plant, dude. What was that? Bro, that was some thick 1k drop right there. And just like that, guys, we went from negative gold to positive gold. And that's why you don't give up. And we're going to be winning team fights way harder once we get that death stance. Yo, 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 yo. This is time for Rifty. Let me go ahead and shove this for you, Mr. Singed. Oh. Singed a hero, dude. I could have helped him. I just want to get Rift Herald, though. At the end of the day, that's all Calcep wants is just to get Rift Herald, folks. Oh, God, I'm stuck against a wall.
Well, we want to secure this thing. Oh, they have gates. <laughs> you see it. The build is coming together. You can already see. This is without buying any tanky items here. We got the conditioning saving us tons of damage. Like, look at this. Look. We got... 55 MR here. We got 72 armor. It looks minor, but it adds up, right? And actually, I think we get a little bit more. I think some of the tooltips actually broken. I think some of the conditioning is not actually added. And plus, we get ourselves the extra tenacity against Kinnon. We're sitting at like... When Kinnon ulted us there, we're sitting at like 50% tenacity. This thing didn't influence us at all. So now we grab the Death Stance. And now it's going to be even huge. If we had Death Stance there when that fight ended, we would have been full health, right? There we go. Death Stance acquired. And now next up, guys, we're going to be looking at getting maybe uh, the plated steel caps into a shield bow. And if we really wanted to be ballsy, we could grab ourselves a Sunfire Aegis or something like that, right? The Sunfire Aegis would uh, make us incredibly tanky, but that means that we are playing the tank role in the team fights, which is kind of okay because the Singe is uh, playing kind of uh, full damage. Well, not full damage, but mostly damage. We have Vladimir that's kind of scaling. And then Ezreal, in theory, would do some damage. But, you know, of course, he's not. <laughs> but in theory, in theory, he would do some damage, guys. In theory, he would do some damage. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves this red buff. Man, this, this Zed, he, he ain't got no chill. All right, let me head over to the top side if they need it. Oh. Okay. I think we do this. He has no, he has no flash now. Oh. Hmm. Nah. I mean, what can you expect, huh? What do you expect? Let's actually go ahead and uh, let's go help Singe. I was thinking about backing and buying a cloth armor, but we don't really need to back. But I'm more concerned about the lack of Vladimir, right? Like, if we group, I have Shelly, and if we group, we can do something. I think that, like, even though we have kind of the worst team fight, I'm building to make it a better situation for us. Because I think what's going to happen is we're going to team fight whether we want to or not. Like, think about it. All those teams that have really great team fights is because they have really great engage, right? Kennen, Wukong, they all engage really hard, and we're, we're going to end up team fighting whether we want to or not. And that's kind of why we're building this anti team fight build. I got me a Death Stance. Ready for action. Pantheon's rolling up on us there. Uh, I'm coming, Nami. I will not waste my alpha on this because I don't want to end up. I don't want to end up somewhere I don't want to be. You're stronger. Please go, man. I'm going to face check. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was supposed to be a sweeper, guys. Uh, that was that was supposed to be a sweeper, folks. It's okay. Shelly going to CS for me. That's the plan. Look at her. She's CSing like a queen. Look at this. She CSs better than I do. Hey, Nami. How dare you? Well, you know, it was short-lived from my dear Shelly. Her name's Rebecca. And you can see, guys, it's a pretty even game. 2 1 3. It's very slow. The higher elo you go, the more like even these kind of games are going to be. So, if you know you're sitting in silver or bronze, you know, at this point, you could have 10 kills. No biggie. Wow, Shelly actually got a tower thanks to Cinch. Cinch protected her. And then Vladimir got a tower. Hmm. Yeah, he wanted to get both those CSs. Are you really want to do this? You really want to do this? All right, buddy. All right. Okay, I'm down. I mean, that was a, that was a bit of a dumb Baron, to be honest. Can we get a ward in there? Hmm. Little bit dumb. Wow, the enemy team has full dragons. Yeah, so we're we're basically required to team fight. Let's do this. And I'm actually I'm kind of feeling the sunfire, guys. The the moment I build sunfire, I've locked myself in the full team fight. Okay. Hmm. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Actually, maybe I can come around here. Nami chasing him down, dude. She full HP. She do not care. She do not care at all. I can appreciate that, Nami. Yeah, we got 56 seconds on this. But, yeah, hey, the tanky build already working out for me, folks. Now, granted, I'm not sure if saving my flat or using my flash there was, like, the best usage. But, like... At the same time, we did win that fight hugely. I would like to use my, I'd like to use my flash on the dragon here. It's a pretty big fight coming up, so I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna buy the stopwatch because this is like for the dragon soul, right? Uh, okay. I do have a stopwatch here, which is huge. Like stopwatch plus death dance, right? Is just a really big combo. So we got stopwatch, death dance. We gotta secure this. And as long as we save Vladdy, all, we all got ulti. They might have, they might actually be missing some ulti. I flipped the clone. Wait, what? Bro, this Ezreal? Oh, I thought he hit the dragon, so I alpha striked it. They're waiting for cooldowns is what they're doing. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yo. Oh, where's Wukong? Where's Wukong? I don't understand where he went. Huh. Uh. Okay. Well, you know. Oh, he's kind of low. Imagine if we force it. Hmm. Is the greatest enemy. What? Yeah, I kind of canceled my thing. That's okay. So we have to decide, guys, if we want to get ourselves the uh, the item here. Let's see. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting really irritated at that back. Let's go for our next item, which will be... I really want to get a GA. I don't know how much I need for it. 1,850. All right, so we're just going to grab the GA as our next item because we can basically full afford it. And then we're going to decide on our next item after. And the thing is, is these items need to be... We could get a Zanya's even. Zanya's would be actually really nice. I actually think Zanya's might be kind of nice. Uh, but I think, uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going Zanya's Hour's Glass here. I think Zanya's a really good choice. We got Zed. We got Kinnon. We got Wukong. When Kinnon hits his ulti or Wukong hits his ulti, we just Zanya's. I'm not even trolling. I actually think Zanya's OP on Yi. I mean, look at it. Look how good it is. Oh, that guy just walked up to me. Yeah, so let's uh, roll up into here. Yeah, it's just like Zanya's is unironically the best item for Yi at this point. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but like when they come rolling in and you don't want to die because they are so team fight oriented, you need that team fight item like Zanya's Hours Glass. On top of that, Zanya's combined with Death Dance, when you have a big burst of damage coming in from Death Dance, what you do is you just simply Zanya's Hours Glass it. What this means is that you're getting the benefit of stasis and you're also getting the benefit of 30% damage reduction. Can I just ult it? Yeah. And I think that's like Zanya's plus Daz Dance is just a disgusting combo. Like it's actually a really disgusting combo. And then once we get uh 
once we get ourselves our Sunfire Aegis, if that's the route that we want to go here is with the Sunfire Aegis, which I think honestly is a pretty good route to go, then we will be basically unkillable and nobody's going to want to focus us because of Zanyas. So, like, take a look at my uh, items here. So we got Zanyas, Zanyas, Zanyas. Who is Zed going to ult in the team fight? He's not going to ult me because I have Zanyas. He's not going to ult Vladimir because Zanyas and pull. He's not going to ult the Singe because Zanyas. Uh, Kennen wants to engage on somebody, right? This guy wants to engage. Who do they engage on? We all have Zanyas, right? It's just going to be an absolute pain for them to deal with us. And that's that's the thing about this item. It's it's like it's straight broken. It's like a really broken item. Uh, but all in all, we're doing really good. We're just keeping it really calm, guys. Ezreal got the blue buff. Ezreal's finally kind of catching up a little bit. He's the same level as Lucian after that really terrible level one. And uh, we're just scaling. And by the way, this is uh, the Mash E-Nurse. We do have the Mash E-Nurse where we lose 20% uh, attack speed. And uh, yeah, I don't really feel the Nurse. A lot of people want to know how I feel about him. I don't feel them, so it doesn't really bother me too much. I'm not going to smite this because we want to save it for the team fight. Hey, yo. Don't, don't even think about it, Vladdy. Don't even think about it. Okay, we're coming. This poor, this, is, this guy just getting juked. Did he just flash that? Jesus. Wait. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> almost. I almost got that death dance proc. But that went really, really well for us. And actually, I am so close. I was legendary. I didn't even realize I was legendary. When did that happen? But that's, that's why you keep it together, guys. That's how the game ends up rolling. Um, so what we can do now is we got to get that dragon. The game's nowhere near over. My team, as long as my team doesn't get too cocky. And we are actually really, really close to some fire ages here. We only need 270 gold. My team probably thinks I just have the most stupid build. <laughs> my team probably just thinks my build is so dumb. I think, I think Vladimir actually missed that. Okay. Ezreal got the dragon. Good job. Ezreal's starting to pop now. That's what I like to see. I'm going to go ahead and buy the components for this. And you may be wondering, Calcep, what in the world is this build? Don't ask, all right? Don't ask. It's a good build. It's a good build. And also, may I add that this Sunfire Cape or the Sunfire Aegis is also going to give me bonus tenacity. And you may be wondering, can I get something else? Yeah, you can get a Kraken. I feel like at this point we're actually tanky enough. You can get a Kraken if you want to do more damage. But honestly, I feel we're doing fine. Like, damage-wise, I think everything, we're just doing really, really fine here. That's second dragon for us. We're getting some bonus attack speed from these dragons. And this is enough for the Sunfire Aegis, so let's go back and buy it. Oh. <laughs> Death Dance. Death Dance, indeed. Um, let's grab the next item that we're going to get here, which is the Sunfire. And then, oh, I should get a pink. I mean, at this point, yeah, yeah, we'll get a pink. We'll get a pink. We'll put it up somewhere so that uh, nobody can walk in on my team. So we're going to be the ones that are going to be putting in all the pressure. So mm, I love Sunfire Aegis. Any game I can get a Sunfire Aegis, it just feels so good. I love it almost as much as Shield Bow. Uh, do I have anybody muted? Wow, I did not have to mute anybody this game. Everybody's pretty respectful in general. Uh, you know, except, you know, Ezreal was a bit annoying earlier. But at least he, at least he stuck with it. Wow. That can it all? Can we just blame lag? Let's just blame lag on that, huh? Can just lag him, boys. So we do have the Zanya's Hours class. Remember, if we get engaged on, we just pop Zanya's. Well, actually, I'd prefer to pop Zanya's if uh, once the Death Stance damage is going to get mitigated. He does not have a Zanya's. Okay, you know, it's kind of funny. I have a Zanya's before Kennen does. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, pretty good. Okay, 
That's one tower. That's a kill on him. Come on, team. You could do this. Okay, Singe, you could do this. Come on, Singe, you could do this. Come on, Singe, you could do this. It's just a support pantheon, bro. You got this. You got this. And that right there is Tank Mashy with Zonya's Hours Glass. If you enjoyed this video, check out this other Tank Mashy video because it's also really good and Tank Mashy is a lot of fun.